With temperatures heading to the mid 90s and then staying hot and humid for the next few days, families need to find a place to cool off and to stay safe. And one way to do it is a splash pad. Take a look. We're at Dilworth Park. This is the spot to be. You can see, I mean, it's only 11 a.m., but it is a bump, and there are so many families out here taking advantage of the cool splash of water, and many of them sticking in the shady areas. That is the secret to staying safe in this, but people are not looking looking forward to this heat wave. I'm not ready, but I have to be ready. Yeah. You have to stay ready. Staying ready is the name of the game. So we saw a lot of people over at Rittenhouse Square this morning getting their workout and their walks done early, walking their pets, trying to avoid the rising temperatures later on. So from Dilworth Park to local pools, the hot and humid weather always sends families running towards the closest cool off point as we continue with a heat wave that could see temperatures in the 90s, but feeling like 100 in the city, especially tomorrow and Thursday. A lot of people are making plans on how to stay cool, but it's important to also stay safe and to check in on loved ones and neighbors. I know later today the sun is going to be really strong, um, so staying cool, just drinking a lot of water, um, staying in the shade. I mean, really, the commute home is like the worst part, and it can feel like honestly over 100 degrees, especially with all the people on the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. So I usually bring a change of clothes for myself too, walking home from work. Because um, no one walks to, wants to walk home in jeans um, in 95 degree heat. And here's some more tips from you. Uh, experts say that you should also wear plenty of sunscreen and take breaks in the shade if you're outside. Now, if you don't have AC, you can use fans, leave windows and doors open when you are indoors. You also want to be really cognizant of the signs of any heat related illnesses, right? So right now you're staying cool, you're staying in the shade, staying hydrated. But if you start feeling dizzy, if you get headaches, uh, if you start excessively sweating, those are all possible indications that it could be a heat related illness. So you want to be safe. You want to make sure you watch out for those. And, of course, check in on your loved ones. Lucille, check in in just about 30 minutes. For now, I'll send it back to you. I'm Miguel Martinez-Valle, NBC 10 News.